Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm showing how I made a quarantine box for my kids' Elf on the Shelf this year. I'm not sure who came up with this idea. I wish I could give them credit, but I've seen this floating around the internet and I thought it would be fun to make my own personalized quarantine box for my kids' Elf on the Shelf. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and let's get into the tutorial. First, I'm going to go over to my uploads, then grab my SVG. I'll click on upload image, then browse. This folder has all of the SVGs available for patrons. I talk a lot about it on my channel. So if you want to look into that, I'll have a link down below and I have some fun new Christmas SVGs. Here's the SVG that I'm going to be using. I'll just hit save. Then I'll just select that and insert that into Cricut Design Space. This SVG will come in several layers. This one actually has a ton where you can see over in the layers panel. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just click attach so that it'll show up just like that when I click make it. If I don't attach it, when you click make it, it'll be all random order on the mat. You can tell that it is attached because it says attach right here. Next, what I'm going to do is figure out what size I want to make my image. And my favorite way to do this is to measure my blank that I'll be adding the image to. The shadow box that I'm going to be putting on this is 10 by 10, but it does have a border around it. So I measured just the inside and it was 9.75 by 9.75. So I'm going to go over to my shapes. Then I'll grab my square and go up to my sizing. Then I'm just gonna change it to the 9.75. I'm going to right click, then send this to the back. Then I am just going to grab my SVG and make this bigger. I just wanna make it fit inside of the box. I think that'll be a good size. Now I'm going to delete the square. Now that I have it attached and it's sized, I'm going to click on make it. I also want to mention I kept the image black even though I'm going to be using white vinyl. Sometimes I'll change the color to help visualize it, but since it's just one color sheet I'm using, then sometimes I don't worry about changing the color in Cricut Design Space. I'm using adhesive vinyl, so I'm not going to mirror it. Then I'll hit continue. I'm using Oracal 651 and for that I just like to select vinyl. My blade is getting just like a tiny bit dull so I'm going to change it to more pressure and I'll show you how I do this on my machine. I place the vinyl shiny side up on my mat and load it into the Cricut machine. The Cricut will cut out the design. I'm using Oracal 651 for my adhesive vinyl which is almost always my go-to vinyl. I start weeding out my vinyl. I also cut away from some of the vinyl because I always try to save as many scraps as possible. Let me know if you guys have kids or grandkids that have an elf on the shelf. My son is six and he loves our elf so much. I don't know if he will be able to wait 14 days for him to come out of quarantine. So I might have to have our elf come a little bit earlier this year. Usually we have him come December 1st, but I'm thinking maybe like the day after Thanksgiving this year. I lost a couple dots to my eyes, so I went back into Cricut Design Space and I hid everything but the dots. Then I just cut it out on that scrap paper and I actually made the dots a little bigger in Design Space so it would be easier to add it back onto my design. Here's the shadow box I'm using. I bought this one at Michael's, but you can find them at Hobby Lobby also. This is a 10 by 10 and the depth is two and a half inches. You wanna make that wide enough so that your elf will fit inside of it. The backing has a padding on it, so I actually tore that part off because I decided to put some glitter paper as the background. 
My paper is 12 by 12 and I need to cut it down to 10 by 10. I love this paper cutter. You can just pop out that measuring stick. I don't know what it's called, but it's very convenient. I line up my paper to 10 inches and cut one side. Then I turn it around and cut the other side to make it 10 by 10. I bought this paper cutter off of Amazon. It was around $10. It's pretty lightweight and maybe not the best quality, but it works well for what I need it to do. So I'll link this down below if you are looking for a paper cutter. I'm using double sided tape to attach the paper to the backing. You can use whatever adhesive you like to attach it. I love this gold glitter color for the background. It just gives it more of a festive Christmassy look. I'm just cleaning off the glass before I add the vinyl. I'm using Expressions Vinyl Transfer Tape. You've probably seen me use this a lot on my channel. It is one of my favorites. I placed the vinyl onto the glass and removed the transfer tape. I was having some trouble getting the vinyl to stick to the glass. Usually I have no problems with this transfer tape, so I'm not sure why it wasn't wanting to stick that well. I sped up the video so it looks faster than it actually is, but I just slowly removed the transfer tape while pressing it against the vinyl to help that vinyl stick down. Here is our elf frost and I decided to add bells inside of the shadow box as well. I found these at the Dollar Tree. I turned his head so he would be looking out of the glass, then set him inside of the box and put the backing back on the shadow box. Here's how it looks. Let me know if you decide to make one of these and how you decide to personalize yours. If you are interested in this SVG and over 170 others, make sure you check out my Patreon membership. You can use these SVGs for commercial use as well to sell your project projects. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you have a great day.